In today's world, autonomous driving seems to be getting more and more sophisticated day by day. On 31st March 2023, Xpeng's latest ADES system, XNGP, in its first phase went live. So in the future, will AI be able to completely drive the car and will it be safer than a human driver? I'm Mark Andrews, your host for this episode of Inside Xpeng. Now let's talk to Dr. Shinjo Wu, head of autonomous driving center at Xpeng and also Xpeng's vice president to find out answers to these questions. Thank you very much for joining us today. I'd like to ask you a few questions about um, Xpeng's new XNGP system. First of all, what new features does it bring? The XNGP is uh, really a major upgrade of, of our ADAS features. Uh, and uh, first of all, it's, um, uh, I would say, the adaptation of the CDNGP feature in our latest hardware platform, which is uh, Orin based, uh, uh, which has a much more compute as compared to the previous generation we have. Um, and we added a lot of capabilities uh, in the CD uh, uh, ADAS uh, as compared to our previous version. Uh, you know, in the cities where we don't have uh, HD maps, um, uh, in this version, we also added uh, a much more capable, what do we call the lane centering control, LCC features, that the car can not only uh, stay in the lane, it can, will also stop for the traffic lights. I believe uh, by combining uh, these two features, it will provide a much better um, uh, uh, experience for our customers. And how does the XNGP compare with competitors, both within China and internationally, say in the US, for example? I think, uh, you know, in XPEN, um, uh, the uh, autonomous driving has been uh, a, a major focus, uh, if not the only focus of the company uh, since we uh, started the company. We are, we are always being the first one to bring up new features. Also, we have, uh, uh, over the last few years, we have been consistently building the foundation to make these features better and safer for our customers. As compared to Tesla, uh, our features uh, uh, definitely understand the Chine, uh, Chinese traffic condition and ch Chinese road condition much better. Our uh, ADAS or the CDNGP was actually born and brought up in the uh, um, very, very heavy traditions in, uh, in, for example, in Guangzhou downtown. And we have been iterating uh, to make the software uh, better and better over the last, uh, I would say, two years. But I'm quite confident you know, at this moment, we are um, definitely in Chinese market, we are uh, well considered number one uh, by our peers. Um, and uh, globally, I hope that we can, uh, again, uh, basically have a fair comparison with Tesla as well. You mentioned that it has actually developed out of Guangzhou with the actual testing, etc. What challenges were there with that testing? Guangzhou traffic is quite interesting. I think that's probably true in other cities of China as well. We have, first of all, the road, um, uh, I would say even structure is much more complicated. You help of that, you have a, um, a very, probably the most complicated, uh, uh, I would say, traffic participants you can ever imagine. Um, and uh, obviously you have electrical vehicles try to pick up customers, so they stop at any, any time, anywhere, pretty much. You're just releasing now the first phase of XNGP. So what's next and what's the roadmap as well for um, your systems? Uh, as I said, right now we are at the stage that uh, in the mapped area we have CDNGP and in the uh, uh, cities without maps, we are releasing this uh, enhanced uh, LCC, uh, again, lane centering control. Uh, as next step, we would definitely want to uh, make our capability to be uh, uh, much more enhanced in the, uh, you know, in the cities without HD map as well. Um, towards that end, essentially, we are going to add basically uh, lane change and also making turns um, to make it really the, uh, what do we call the navigation guide, the pilot NGP, right? I have a very similar experience with or without HD map. So that's our uh, biggest next step. And after that, we really want to uh, put all the uh, uh, features together. Right now, we have capabilities in highway, in the city, uh, map or not mapped, and then we have uh, the parking uh, kind of structure navigation capability. By early next year, we hopefully we can uh, get to a seamless experience for our customer from parking spot to parking spot, from work to home. And after that, we will really try to uh, enhance the features so that we are going to lower, significantly lower the uh, takeover, at least in certain scenario, driver can safely get out of the car. 
So um, that will happen, we expect to happen in 25, 26 time frame. Obviously, Xpeng is leading the ADAS um, situation in China. And last year, you unveiled this neural net. Um, can you explain a little bit more about what that is and how that works? That's a super complicated uh, um, uh, network. Obviously, these days, people are used to gigantic uh, uh, deep neural nets. Uh, so the particular network we have just successfully deployed is a, a BEV, basically, or transformer-based uh, architecture. Uh, essentially, it can uh, take in uh, videos uh, from all the cameras uh, simultaneously and being able to generate objects that including uh, the cars moving around you and also even the um, uh, kind of HD map kind of understanding of the uh, static road around you as well, um, in, all in 3D. So with this kind of capability, now um, you know, autonomous driving just becomes easier. So, uh, we believe we are the first one in China who deploys this kind of technology. It certainly unlocked the door for us to be able to deploy high-level ADAS features in uh, cities without HD maps. Right, so that is actually one of the keys for deploying it, is Absolutely. it? Is it? What's the role of LiDAR going forward? Right, LiDAR is uh, in city environment is quite important because uh, LiDAR give you a direct measurement of the obstacles, especially static obstacles, uh, small or big ones, basically with, with ease. Um, uh, it's, uh, and uh, it's, it's more or less basically error-free as well. Obviously, you need a lot of algorithm to be able to do it well. Um, but that capability, I think, is, is, is really critical for the success of CDNGP so far. Uh, on the other hand, uh, as we are further enhancing our vision capability, whether or not we need LiDAR for, I would say, advanced ADA system, we, we need to see. I think I'm right in saying that Xpeng uses two LiDARs in the system. Is that That's correct? Right, yes. A lot of competitors only use one LiDAR system. <laughs> What's the reason for Xpeng using two? The reason we need two is basically we want a wider FOV. Um, because the cars, as you know, the cars uh, in the city, they're driving slower, but they make wider turns. Especially when you are passing an intersection, you really want to see um, you know, uh, with uh, a wide field of view if there's any obstacle in, in the way so that you can plan accordingly. This is really the main reason. Safety is a high priority for Xpeng. How do you ensure the safety of the own users? Can you explain a bit about it, please? Actually, on that one, even our highway NGP right now, we are seeing a roughly an order of uh, 10 as compared to human driver in terms of safety. We are 10 times safer. 10 times safer. Yeah, right. than, than, uh, than typical human driver because we monitor the accidents rate uh, without, without basically uh, our features. Would you say that one of the crucial factors is that you've done this largely in-house, whereas some of the competitors have tried to buy this in rather than actually creating it for themselves? It's a luxury actually to work on autonomous driving in the auto industry because we have everything in-house. Uh, that not only the, uh, including all the algorithm, um, but also basically uh, we build our own ECUs and we, uh, we, we, we work very closely with the other chassis team and the power team, you know, very, very closely. So it's, 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 it's super efficient. Just one final question. So what is Xpeng doing to try and keep a competitive edge? Well, you, are, you cannot sleep. <laughs> China market is so unique. Everybody is racing so hard. Um, and, uh, you know, you have to uh, really, really work hard to keep, uh, you know, to, to, to keep ahead. On the other hand, we have invested, uh, invested heavily on the foundation infrastructure. Actually, that is a very, very critical, what I call the second half of the ADAS race. I think in the second half, actually, um, it's not a sprint anymore. It's, it's really a marathon, if, if I may. And uh, all the uh, capabilities you have built along the way, that actually will decide your efficiency. So we believe that we have done uh, well in the first half and hopefully in the second half, although everybody's trying to catch up with uh, the features, but hopefully we can keep them, uh, you know, behind us with a safe distance. Okay, Dr. Shinjo, thank you very much for your time. Thank you. All right, thanks, Mark. Thank you. All right. For those who've experienced driving in a Chinese city, you'll know it actually can be quite stressful. If there's one thing that I would say with driving you have to expect the unexpected. You never really know what's going to happen. And also, one thing I really was impressed by what um, Shinjo had to say was that safety is really important when it comes to the system.
I think that's one big worry that people have when it comes to AI is how safe it's going to be. And certainly I'm for one reassured that it's going to be safe. In the next episode, we're gonna get inside a car and experience XMGP. And I'm certainly looking forward to that. And I hope you'll join me again next episode.